Well, this is actually my second uh, time at uh, serving on the jury of the ZS Prize. So I, I was part of the jury for the first edition and now for the second edition. And what really stands out uh, is that uh, the uh, quality of the finalists. I think uh, uh, just the fact that uh, they are much further along on the innovation path. Uh, I think the first time around, we, we probably had uh, more early stage uh, innovators who had perhaps taken an idea towards a proof of concept. I think this time around, we're actually seeing sophisticated development of translational work, uh, ideas taken to proof of concept and onto a prototype, in some cases onto a product and with actual customers and uh, and a very sort of clear business plan and execution and scaling, which, uh, which I think uh, is very exciting because it's also indicative that there's a certain maturation of, uh, of the prize uh, and the entrepreneurs uh, in the oh. Indian ecosystem. Tech for tech sake, you know, I guess we see a lot of it and I'm, you know, from the academia, so so I see a lot of that. But uh, but here we're actually seeing uh, tech being developed for actually solving a problem. Now, the other aspect is that uh, uh, the tech itself is getting deeper, right? And uh, in fact, uh, you know, uh, I think the idea of using exosomes to predict uh, neurological or neurodegenerative disorders, the idea of actually having a, a multivalent uh, test for uh, primary healthcare that is, you know, on site and point of care. And, uh, and I think we're starting to see some really sophisticated indigenous solutions getting built. And I think. Uh, that's very exciting. Well, you know, uh, there is a little cash prize also that goes along with it, which of course will help them at the stage they are, they are at. Maybe uh, help a few more than uh, uh, others, but, uh, but regardless, that's, that's an important uh, aspect of the prize. But mostly it's about one, the fact that, uh, you know, they've come through uh, a, a competition and actually reached a certain stage um, is extraordinary motivation uh, and confidence building. Um, I know that as an entrepreneur some 20 years ago, uh, you know, I would, uh, you know, any of these sort of recognitions uh, would really make a big difference. And I think the other aspect is that they, these guys are going to get mentored by some industry leaders because of the, you know, the access that CS has to to the to industry leaders. Well, healthcare is actually in India is really at a very precarious point, right? I think uh, while you know. I think the healthcare system responded heroically during during the pandemic. Uh, I think it also showed us, you know, where some of the fault lines are, and uh, and I think you know I serve on the Lancet Citizens Commission for reimagining India's health system. I'm actually most excited by the fact that India has a chance to leapfrog and use technology and use uh, diagnostics and preventive care and, and wellness care uh, as an approach towards universal health care. Um, it's also very exciting uh, how the digital public infrastructure of the country is developing. Healthcare is probably going to be the next deeply affected vertical uh, with uh, the Aishman Bharat Digital Mission, the India Health Stack, and the Unified Health Interface, 
uh, and various digital health players, ZS Prize uh, uh, finalists and on entrepreneurs are going to be able to plug into that infrastructure. So I truly think that we could be transforming Indian healthcare. And the hope is to get us towards universal healthcare by 2030. And these are some of the building blocks that are going to make that possible. So, well, first of all, I think it's important to remember that everyone who came, every participant who came through this process and the kind of mentoring they, they experienced and, and the fact that eight teams made it to the finals and uh, I think all of them should really consider themselves winners. Mm -hmm.